President Mr. Freeman Duncan. WMX race two here, round three of the Women's Motocross World Championship, the Vichy MXGP of Turkey. Wasn't a good start for the uh, the main titles, but then uh, Duncan held a nice tight line, so too did Fontanese, but it was Elisa Galvano, the young Italian who led the way from Nancy van der Ben. Van der Ben quickly into the lead, though, just a few moments' time, but before that, Fontanese up the inside of Duncan to move into third place. By the end of the wave section, we had a new leader, that was Van der Ven, and then Fontanese went around Galvano to move into second position. Duncan then, in that slight bobble may have cost Fontanese time, another one coming out of that left. This was the final lap, Duncan closing in. The gap was about a second at the start of the lap. This is two corners from home. She committed to the outside, then the inside. The number one got good drive over the final jump, and she put the squeeze on Fontanese going into the very final turn and closed the door again on the exit. The run towards the finish line belonged to Duncan. She went on to win the race and the Grand Prix. Fontanese was second, and Van der Ven third. That's how it finished here. And of course, Courtney Duncan regains the championship leader's red plate as we head to round four, which is the big story at the start of EMX Open race two here in Turkey was the fact that Nicolas Dercour, second in the championship, did not line up for the second race. So that gave Davide de Vorta, the championship leader, a free run at turn one, which he took with both hands by the time he got to turn two. And from there, the Italian and the championship leader was never headed. Simone Croce was in second, Wazaki was in third. And just behind them, Christian Tompa in fourth place. Despite one or two attempts early on in the race, Simone Croce wasn't able to inflict himself and find his way past the race leader. Instead, as the race went on, he started to get caught by Thomas Wazaki on the JD Gunnex KTM. Fast, uh, setting fastest laps and fastest sector points. And as they went into the final lap, there was absolutely nothing in it between 
to Bortoli and Wazoki. But coming out of the final turn, it was De Bortoli that held on. He went on to win a double race win. And it was Wazoki second and Croce was third. And your overall podium today, Davide De Bortoli first overall, Simone Croce second, Thomas Wazoki was third, and the championship lead still belongs to the Italian De Bortoli with just one round to go coming up here on Tuesday.